Hi, everybody, and welcome to this week's edition of Ask GHCC. This week, we have a, an issue that is a little controversial and one that strikes very close to home for a number of people, something that a lot of men and even women struggle with and raises a lot of issues. And the question was posed like this. Is my husband's use of pornography a deal breaker? And we're taking that to mean is the fact that my husband uses pornography something that would give me grounds for divorcing him. First of all, we need to understand that pornography is a scourge in every form. It is the taking of the natural desire of a man for a woman and polluting it into something that objectivizes women. In other words, it makes them not a mom or a sister. It makes them not a, a daughter or a friend. It makes them an object purely for the for the purpose of self-gratification. And so the use of pornography in any form is not right. It is a sin. But when Jesus said that if you even look at a woman lustfully, you have committed adultery with, with her in your heart, what he was building was the case that sin is sin. And so to look at it or to contemplate it or desire it, it's sin. It's really no different than if you would be coveting a new car or coveting a certain dress or coveting anything. If you are coveting the person within the pages of a magazine or a video or anything like that, you are guilty of a sin. And Jesus was building the case that just because you don't act on something, looking at it and seeing it can make you as guilty. But there is a big difference between a man who's looking at pictures, however wrong that may be, and a man who's acting out physically in adulterous relationships. And while it makes a person guilty of sin, just as adultery would, there is no scriptural justification that I can find that a man looking at pornography is grounds for a divorce. It's very, very different. Marriage is a covenant between a man and a woman. Only God can make it. Only God can break it. There are grounds for divorce, and that's a time or a subject for another video. But it's important that we remember today that pornography is never right. There are certain kinds of pornography, such as child pornography, that is illegal and should be. It all ought to be. There are people who really struggle with these issues. And I would want to say today to any men out there or women who also struggle with this, though not to the same degree, that if you're struggling with these issues, they usually don't go away on their own. It can only lead you to places you don't want to go. And so I would encourage you to make sure that you con contact any number of places that can give you the kind of help you need to break these cycles in your life. So I guess the long answer to a short question is no. Just because a man looks at pornography would not mean that it would be a grounds for divorcing and breaking the marriage covenant. But it does indicate that there are some real serious issues going on that need to be addressed. And we would highly encourage people to look to God, to good pastoral counsel, to help from professionals, or whatever it would take to break that cycle before it does any more damage in a person's life. 